we've always supported voice-based alarm notification using um, either voice modems or Twilio. But in version 12.1, we introduced voice over IP so that you had an alternative to the other two. It was intended for use internally to your network using a, um, an ATA device or something like that. But in version 12.1.36, we've added encryption to our VoIP offering. So what this lets you do is use external SIP trunking providers or other VoIP telephony service providers to do your voice-based alarm notification. Another thing that we've added is voice redundancy. So if you've always used voice modems or have always used Twilio for your voice-based alarm notification, you can add new methods of making voice-based alarm calls. The multiple methods that you add are used in a round-robin manner so that if one fails, you've still got the other methods and they can be used in sequence. Let's take a look at how that's configured and what it looks like today. We're looking at the screen. We have a voice modem that is currently disabled, and you'll see that we have a new widget here, which is the call manager status. The call manager status widget basically lists the different configurations we have for making voice-based alarm notification calls. So let's go ahead and enable our modem. You'll see that it pops up on our list of configurations for making voice calls under the call manager status. Let's go and take a look at our VoIP setting configuration. I'm going to enable a configuration on this workstation. You'll notice by looking at this that there are a couple of new checkboxes. There's the Use SIPS checkbox, which allows us to use secure protocols for making voice calls. That's important because it lets us use external SIP trunking providers. There's another checkbox here, which can be unchecked if you're having issues with more than one network interface card in your workstation. Right now, let's Let's just leave both of those checked. So we hit apply. And when we look at our call manager status widget, we'll see that we've got a VoIP method here for making voice calls. Let's go back to our configuration. Select a different workstation. You'll notice that this is set up to use a grand stream device, the HT813. So this, the configuration is much simpler, and we don't have the SIPAS box checked. Let's enable this. You'll see that this method also shows up on our call manager status. So when we're calling out, the call manager will rotate through each of these three configurations one after the other as it makes outbound calls. I'm going to disable some of these now. Because I want to force our system to make encrypted VoIP calls to an external SIP trunking provider. So I'll trigger my alarm. And there's our call coming in. This is the VT SCADA system. There is presently one priority alarm. Please enter your ID number followed by the number key. Hello, Greg. The following are the unacknowledged alarms. 2.10 p.m. default. There are no more unacknowledged alarms. Select. 1 to acknowledge alarms. I'll acknowledge it. 2 to main menu. Select. 1 for unacknowledged alarms. And star signs. Two for and there you have it. So we've just made an encrypted VoIP call using an external SIP trunking provider. 
And you can do the same using version 12.1.36 or higher.